I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment out here in Kearns, Texas. Hey, today we wanted to get out and talk about another Dirt Dog implement. Uh, this is the, the Dirt Dog Discs. This happens to be one of the 200 series discs. In fact, it's a 200-5 series disc. They make a 100, a 200, and a 300 series disc. Uh, so it just depends on what your needs are, what your soil types are, and whatnot. But our most popular here is the 200 series. And so they come in various widths. There's a lot of options, actually, if you think about it. So this is a 200-5, and it, it's pretty much a five-foot disc. But you don't, a lot of times, uh, different companies won't rate them by the width. And the reason why they don't is because it depends on the angle at which your, your discs are set at as, to, as far as how wide it's going. Um, this just happens to be one of the notch discs. I got the notch discs on the front and the back. You can get it any combination. So if you wanted plain discs, you can get plain discs. If you want notched and plain, you can get a combination of both. So there's a lot of ways to get these. Uh, for our application, we're, we're here in Nevada County, and it, this soil gets hard and compact. And so I don't think I've ever sold a disc with plain discs. Um, we almost always have the notch discs. And what the notch discs disc do for you is they're going to allow you to get a little bit more ground pressure uh, with the points of these discs as opposed to if it was smooth it'd kind of be hard to get that disc started in the ground um, it really comes down to i mean it's not really rocket science what it really comes down to is how much weight you have on a certain area or a certain you know pressure point of this disc um, and and one thing to note if this to me is not a primary tillage piece and if you're looking if you're looking to do a garden, it, it really a tiller is a better application. Not to say this won't work, but this is more of a disc harrow versus maybe an offset disc or something that you're used to seeing in, you know, working in the field, whether you're pulling a, a real heavy pull type disc and it's really churning the soil. This isn't what that's, that, this is not what that's for. And so with the disc harrow, the primary applications are going to be, you know, doing food plots, doing things like that. If you're doing a little overseeding, this is a great thing. Maybe breaking up or trying to aerate the soil in your, in your pasture. But there's a few things to look for in a disc regardless of where you get it. Um, one is the construction. And so this is a tube frame disc. They also make angle iron frame discs. But you really get what you pay for and the weight matters. And so this is a tube style disc. In fact, that's all that Dirt Dog makes. Um, and one thing that's kind of unique about it is just how heavy the tube is. So I, I sell discs that, that have bigger tubing and they look bigger, but they're thinner. And so honestly, they weigh less than it does with, with the, even the smaller tubing. But Dirt Dog re uses really thick, heavy tubing uh, and a really heavy duty reinforcement for the three point. So this is a pretty heavy disc. I really like to sell these. And as we've talked about time, time and time again, the Dirt Dog construction is just second to none. The, the weld quality, the paint quality, the, the engineering, it's just hard to beat the Dirt Dog disc. And it's not the cheapest disc, but it's, it's pretty affordable. It's a good value in my opinion. So I think it's a good disc. Now there are different settings. So when you're changing this, it all depends on what you're trying to do. You can angle these. You can angle the front and rear actually different. So maybe you want the front running at a different angle than the rear, but you can actually change the angle of these depending on how aggressive you want it to be. For our soil conditions, most folks are going to have a pretty steep angle because that's going to help that. That's going to allow that tractor to kind of pull it in the ground a little bit. Um, most folks are going to adjust that angle to where it's pretty, pretty aggressive. And you can set the front and the back a little different and sometimes that'll help a little bit. But for, you know, for a lot of folks that we're going to be running this angle, it's, and this is what we're going to use to do a, maybe set up for a food plot or something like that, just kind of scratch the surface. Um, as always, the weight matters, and you'll see a lot of folks, and you've probably you know heard a lot of folks that will add weight to this, and that's not a bad idea uh, if, if that's the if that's the soil type that you have. Um, but the nice part about this disc is just it does come with a lot of built-in weight, and I just think it's built really well. So we're going to run this a couple times. I'm going to show you kind of what this does, and we're going to run it in kind of this looser soil, and we're going to run it out there in the hard pack. And you can kind of understand that, that what this disc is capable of. But I really, I'll just say it again, you can't go wrong with these Dirt Dog implements. So I'm, today I'm going to be using this Massey Ferguson 1840 MH tractor. So it's a 40 horsepower hydrostat tractor. It's a really good fit for this disc. And so we're loose. And then we're going to so you can kind of see the difference. Um, if you're loose like this, you're going to see a more you know you get aggressive 
situation, you're probably going to either have to add some weight or wait for some moisture or something along those lines. But we're going we're gonna to take this and give this a try. As you can see, it's really churning the soil here. Um, and, if, and if you notice, as we get went faster, you actually start to throw that soil or boil that soil even more. So we're going to do that one more time. And so in loose soil, this So sometimes when you're re-preparing a bed or something like that, this soil can, or this disc can really do some, some work for you. Now we're going to move it out on the hard pack and so you kind of understand what that looks like. So this out here has been driven over and, are you ready? So this has been uh, driven over and compacted a bunch and it doesn't have much moisture. So this is about as hard as it's gonna get, but I think it's a good point of reference so you kind of know what it's, what it's capable of. And so we're gonna take off here. So what I want to kind of show you is what it does out here. And so what, what this is good for is say I'm planting that food plot for those deer. It's kind of just scratching the surface that will allow that seed that we're going to put in the ground to get just a little bit more soil contact. And it's really a necessary part of, of, of doing a, a, a food plot. And you can also cover more area than you can with a tiller. So having a good disc is an important tool. It's different, it, it varies from the tiller, but, but like I say, both have a purpose on, uh, in your operation. So I hope you've now kind of seen what this disc is capable of. I hope you've kind of noticed the, the construction quality of the Dirt Dog implements that are built in Georgia. Uh, all of these are built by Dirt Dog. So I'm just a huge, huge fan. And when you come in and you check it and you knock on it, you'll, I think you'll agree with me that the construction of the, di of the disc is something to be pretty impressed by. Um, and like I say, for food plots, for maybe a little gardening, kind of a finished tillage, more of a harrow application, I think these are, these are a pretty nice tool to have in, in your arsenal of, of, of attachments for your tractor. So if y'all are interested in, in any dirt dog equipment or, or any of the other equipment we sell, or maybe even a new tractor package, uh, call, stop by 903-270-0877. Uh, Check us out on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, we're all over the internet and we'd love to, love to help you out.